Yeah, at Garza, there's really, I can honestly say there's no average student. You know, we have students coming from East Austin, from West Austin, from Westlake, from out of district, from out of state, um, from out of city. Some students come here from maybe Houston and they stop going to school there and then they transfer to, they hear about Garza and transfer here. Um, we have students who are homeless. We have students who have their own children. We have students who are, you know, the children of celebrities, like really. <laughs> so we have students, all kinds of students here at Garza, and I think that's a really neat part of it is that they're all here together, and they're all, we have an honor code at Garza um, that's a really big deal for us. So students are extremely respectful of each other. They're all respectful, but there's no, there's no average student. They all really they're all so unique and different at Garza. Well I have to say at the public school I was coming from my senior class was comparable to the senior class here as far as size goes. Um, Garza even though it is small we have new students coming in every two weeks so that's actually also been a transition for me because um, I may get students through the process but then two weeks later we may have students come in who did nothing at their high school and I'm needing to like immediately help them do everything so it's cons it's a constant it's not, not that it ever ends at a, pub, a, a traditional high school, but you know, okay, past January, most students are done with their applications, for example. And here that's not the case because if I, we just redid the ranking and I have some top 10% students who didn't apply anywhere at their other school because they weren't top 10%. Maybe they were top quarter and just not motivated enough to apply. But now they're here and they're top 10% and I've got to get them applying to college and get all their stuff in because they can get in any Texas public school. With the self-paced approach, a student can easily come see me during class. So I have, I'm busy all day long, like back-to-back -back appointments almost, because students can come see me at will. Um, they're not missing a lesson, so their teachers are pretty cool about letting them come in to meet with me to get stuff done. Um, I think getting to know students personally is a huge part of college advising. I mean, if I don't know, if they're not comfortable telling me their family backgrounds and their dreams, what they really want to do, what their challenges are, um, it's hard for me to be good at what I do. We have really bright students here, um, and that I think this approach, I mean, I. I heard about the solution-based approach and all that before I came here, and it's like, oh, that's great, you know, touchy-feely, that's nice. But um, it really does work. I've seen students here who've been through all, like, horrible struggles. Um, maybe they're at the bottom of the class, they have a one-point-something, and because people believe in them, they're motivated to continue with their education.